Looking to improve your game? You can now sign up for CFB Pro using the promo code LVD, get access to articles and deck guides by the world's best. Serpent of Yawning Depths, 6 mana 6-6. Six, six. Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses and Serpents you control can be blocked except by Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses and Serpents. Makes perfect sense. So those are the keywords we need to search for. Bird Serpents, that counts. Uh, it's just not companion for now. And then Lockmere Serpents, a Serpent. This is a Snake. Trader. Frilled Sea Serpent, gotta be in there. And a Lava Serpent, why not? Alright, what's next? Kraken. We've got Ominous Seas, Nadir Kraken, Shoal Kraken. This is a Demon Kraken. Okay, what's next? Leviathans. Archipelagor and Kira's Dambreaker. And then Octopus. Shark Octopus Crab, that counts. Alright, I guess that's uh that's the idea. Now how <laughs> how are we supposed to get these in play? If I cut the threes and the fives, I could companion Geruda. Although I guess there's a couple sevens too. Could uh, companion Yurion. That way we have a lower chance of drawing the bad cards. Is there some overlapping synergy that we're not seeing? They're a bit all over the place. We've got a bit of mutate here with Pelagor and Octopus. We've got some Adapt, some Scry, some Constellation, some Proliferate, Cycling. So we might have to narrow it down a little bit. Banner naming blue. And this is a combo with Nadir Kraken. If we play the good cards, so let's say we max out on Ominous Seas, Nadir Kraken. Benthid also makes blue illusions, so that still synergizes with Banner. We'll play like two Serpents of Yawning Depths. And then Giruda doesn't do a whole lot, I guess. Yeah. We'll just make this mono blue. Suppose I could still play Mutates with a Sea Dasher and Archipelagor. Or I could just play a couple Best of Sea God. I guess Archipelagor plus Benthid is kind of nice, getting to put it on a Hexproof creature. So maybe we do max out on the Mutates. And then I could also play Symbiote if I wanted to, and maybe Shore Shark. Something like this. And then Symbiote synergizes with both Nadir Kraken and Ominous Seas. Octopus draws cards for Seas and helps us enable Kraken. Right, I guess I need to make at least two Serpents of Yawning Depths. Even Arena can't believe that I'm crafting it, which is why it's not appearing in my uh, deck right away. Yeah, I guess this is kind of uh, what we're working with. Maybe Kirabasa Sea Gods is a little too slow. So this is a 5, this is 4, this is 6, and this is 6. So our curve is pretty chunky. But we do have Banner to synergize with both Nadir Kraken and Benthid, which is pretty nice. And then we have a total of 12 Mutate creatures for Symbiotes. I also don't mind playing 26 lands, because we have quite a few card draw engines. And Nadir Kraken is pretty mana intensive. And we can always discard lands to the Symbiotes, so 26 could be fine. 
What's a seafoods looking islands? I think the contenders are Rise of the Eldrazi, M20, could also make a case for uh, Theros, although it's not really super leviathan-y, it's more to synergize with our serpent here. Underwater Dominaria could also work. So we've got three options, Dominaria, Rise, and M20. Let's do a quick poll. This is of utmost importance. And Dominaria wins maybe some castles, but I was thinking of the Enclave. Got a couple for parent creatures, so why not? Could also play Karn's Bastion to proliferate the Ominous Seas. Uh, this has a plus one counter, so we've got a little bit of synergy with it. Ah, this looks good. Not too many standard playable cards in this deck, so hopefully the the matchmaker has mercy. Let's see if we can sneak in the octopus here. This looks an awful lot like the Mardu Mutate deck I built. No deer Kraken. Do we have any answers to Porky Parrot here? I guess we've got uh, the shark to bounce it. But then they just get to assemble it once again. So I'm guessing this is... Uh, Two mana removal spell on the octopus. Yep. There is an advantage to building a lot of decks, is that you get to know them pretty well. Could not deer kraken and then pay one. I think that's fine. Can even mutate for one mana. So I don't think we can beat Porky Parrot. Snap Dax is also going to be pretty ugly for us. Yep. So would really love to draw the shark here to bounce Snapdax and maybe get an attack in. Let's see, four, five, six mana. Could also play Nadir Kraken and then play Octopus and still pump the Kraken. I guess that's fine too. If I play Serpent, I guess Octopus gets to attack for free. But maybe we want to set up the double Octopus attack first. Yeah, I like setting up the the double octopus. So should I do that now? Sure. Let's 
Uh, I would have drawn the shark, but that's okay. Serpent of Yawning Depths, time to shine. All right, Cub Warden. Kills Kraken. So bouncing snap decks, not great. So I'm probably better off just casting the Serpent to hope Dorado mutates. Ominous Seas. Alright. And if they don't have any more Mutate cards, we are in decent shape, otherwise it's gonna get ugly. Konoros is acceptable. Alright, looks like we might be in the clear. Or my opponent has another Heartless Act and they're planning on killing this at instant speed to ambush the Octopus. Which could get ugly. This only returns opposing creatures, so I can bounce my own serpent, sadly. Hmm. Mutate Shore Shark and then bounce Snapdex. And then. I can. If they block with Kunoros on an octopus, I can at least trade. But then they still get to replay Snapdex. And the Cub Warden's gonna be back in their hand, too. So it's not actually all that good for us. Yeah, they can block, but I'm thinking if they have a Heartless Act here. Maybe I just gotta hope they don't, because otherwise I lose. Yep. Yeah, I guess we let that happen. I don't know, it feels like bouncing snap decks is shooting myself in the foot. Maybe I just mutate here and kill a token. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about M21. Should be a good time. Marokunaros. So I can scry and then draw. Archipelagor. Now that's a card. Guess I'll wait. Hmm. 
Yeah, this seems like a kind of tough matchup with so much creature removal. So this is 10 damage total. Guess I'll take it. That's an awful lot of graveyard hate. Bones at 55, by the way. Is this the start of a comeback? I get to make a uh, token end of turn two. All right, and another shark means more things to tap down with Archipelagor. Now, if they find any mutate creature, I'm super dead. That's fine. Oh, yes. So, what do we bounce? I guess Kunoros. I get to bounce two things, that's right. I guess I can always decline here. So, decline. Take action. Attack. So, mana efficient. Opponent down to 31. Twenty two points of power on the board. But I could add a couple before we attack. Thanks to mutates. So let's have a look. Let's say my point has nothing. Sixteen plus six twenty two. Plus seven twenty nine plus one thirty. Am I one damage short here? Because I can mutate the archipelago on a tentacle. I get to draw from Symbiote, so that's another counter on Nadir Kraken. Do I have another draw trigger somewhere? This costs five. So I have two mana left, so I have one mana over. I'm exactly one short, I think. I mean, I'll still go for it, I guess. Although, no, never mind. I need to mutate here to keep their stuff tapped down, probably. 
but I think I'm one short, unless I miscount it. So I don't think we're actually bouncing anything, although I guess I could bounce Kunoros. Decline. Sure, they can replay it if they want. Banner would have been nice. I'm at four. Wow. What a comeback. That was an epic game. That was a good, clean game of Magic the Gathering. A lot of drama. Two pretty original decks. Don't get that in normal standard very often. The games just end too quickly. There's no three arc structure in standard. It's usually a one arc structure where someone steamrolls the other opponent. All right, I mean, I guess the deck's perfect, so I can't possibly play another game with it. But for now, I want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.